Good old leg. I've only got like a thousand more years to live. I don't have a second to waste. Now Galadriel is in a perfume commercial. Then we cut to the homeless hobbit encampment where shenanigans. I don't know about you, but I'm having a great time watching Rings of Power. That is one of the best comedy shows on TV right now. Episode three was particularly great in terms of laughs per minute. We start out strong with this epic conversation between Halbrand, Elendil, and Galadriel when they're still on the boat. And Galadriel is like, where are we going? And Elendil is like, you'll see soon enough. We're almost there. And then Halbrand is like, where? And then there's this long pause and you're waiting and the tension is building. And then Ellen Neal finally says, home. I mean, if that's not comedy, I don't know what is. Then probably the funniest part of the episode is when you have a bunch of these people who were just on a boat, now on the beach, facing the sea where their boat just was, screaming, the sea is always right. I don't know really what that means or why you would scream that, but they do. And it's hilarious, especially because there's no context for this. Then in case you missed it, that's Isildur that was on the boat. But he's known to his friends as Isil, which, I mean, if my name was Isildur, that's a lot to carry around on the day to day. I don't know that I would allow anyone to abbreviate it to Isil. Cause that just, that doesn't really flow, does it? I also don't really feel like Tolkien's world is one in which we have like quippy abbreviated nicknames. I mean, maybe they should have called Boromir Boar. He could be kind of a bore sometimes. Legless, good old leg, the old fro bag. Then we get this weird sequence that takes like about a million years where the elves who are fomenting rebellion, they refuse to cut down a tree because for some reason that's where they draw the line, even though I feel like worse than that has happened so far. But okay, trees are a big deal. Okay, so they're not gonna cut down the tree. The big kahuna orc comes over and is like, you've shown spirit, have some water. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but the orcs seem to think it's badass, so okay. I don't know their culture. So the orcs are like, huh, here's some water. And then the elves take a very long time to decide to try drinking the water. I mean, they are immortal, so you know, take your time. So they finally drink the water and the orcs like, <laughs> yeah, water. And then they hand the water to our main character and he's like, okay, and he drinks some of the water, still, still not poisoned. The orcs like, <laughs> water. And then we hand it to third nameless unimportant guy and he gets his neck sliced and I was like, oh man, here comes the gushing blood. And then, oh, it's like this little cut. Like I bleed more from a paper cut, but he's dead now. So I guess maybe elves just don't have much blood. Like they just have a tiny bit. And if they spill that tiny bit, well, that's it. They don't got no more. So they die immediately. Otherwise, I don't really get why he's dead. Then we have Galadriel parkouring around the city. <laughs> Classic. Then my favorite kind of comedy is like ironic comedy. So Galadriel is like super impatient. Like she refuses to wait, refuses to be in the city for any longer than like two seconds. She's leaving immediately. And like, she's immortal. So we saw the other elves who were taking their sweet ass time trying to drink the water. Cause again, they're immortal, like that checks out. But Galadriel, she's like, nah, I've only got like a thousand more years to live. I don't have a second to waste. I gotta be out of here, which is hilarious. And then we have Galadriel horse girl, which is something that I did not know that I needed in my life. And not only does she light up, did you say ride? Then we get the sweeping shots of like them riding. I'm like, cool, cool. This is the classic Middle Earth sweeping shot, people riding. But then we zoom in and now Galadriel is in a perfume commercial or possibly a toothpaste commercial. We do kind of like really zoom in to like all of her teeth, which look quite clean, so yay for that. So we're riding, riding, riding and we get to the place we're going and we get some more like, uh, comedic irony where we're really excited about how amazing the architecture of this place is this place that's meant to house scrolls where all the racks for the scrolls are like in front of windows where sunlight would directly hit the scrolls which is like a terrible idea right like who would ever design a building where you would store old and crumbling scrolls in direct sunlight so hilarious okay so then all of that has been super epic and now again we get like comedic juxtaposition so all of that was like you know world is ending i gotta get out of here this is like hugely important stuff we're doing slow-mo horse riding like 
Gladriel, world conquering, yes. Okay, then we cut to the homeless hobbit encampment where shenanigans. And here we have them walking through the forest chanting, nobody goes off trail and nobody walks alone. 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 Must have taken them ages to memorize that script. Then we get this very serious moment where all the Harfoots are talking about all the people that have fallen behind that they have also left behind. They're mourning them because they feel guilty about leaving people behind, I think. I think that's the subtext. And then they get to this one particular, because they're naming the cause of death for each of these people as well, which is a great way to deliver exposition to the audience about characters that we don't care about. We're going through all these deaths and it's kind of hilarious that we're talking about all these people that are dead because you left them behind. And then we get to this one guy who they say died because of bees and they all laugh, which is fucked up. Okay, so in all seriousness, like I did laugh a lot watching episode three and I'm pretty sure I was not supposed to laugh. And like, I don't want to be laughing at Lord of the Rings or anything Lord of the Rings related. But the show is unintentionally very funny. So I guess I'm getting some joy out of it. But like for real, I, I just, I still don't know what the plot is. I don't understand any of the choices they're making. I really don't like how everything looks like Greek slash Roman for it being Tolkien. That being said, if we were going for Greek slash Roman, which I think, I guess we are, but if we were like genuinely going for Greek slash Roman, like that would look awesome. And I, it made me really, really wish that instead of ad pseudo adapting Tolkien, that Amazon had dumped their budget into adapting like the Odyssey or the Iliad or something like that because like basically right now that's what it looks like. Well, not the Harfoots part. I don't know where that goes, but like the parts where Halbrand and Galadriel are, if you out of context, if I didn't know anything about anything and you just showed me like a few clips of like what the city looks like there, I'd be like, this looks like the Odyssey. <laughs> like Halbrand, the guy playing him and the way he looks like that could be Odysseus and that would be great. He would be a great Odysseus. But like elves looking like Roman centurions and then those Roman centurions are like in a an enslaved situation. So now it's like gladiator vibes where he's got to like band together with the others to like, to rise up. Like it, it's definitely giving gladiator. And like, that's again, not really what I expect from Tolkien. Don't expect my elves or Tolkien's elves, I should say, to look like Roman centurions. Anyway, hopefully episode four is at least funny because that's really all that I can hope for from this show I think. Maybe it'll surprise me and it'll be brilliant. Genuinely brilliant but right now I'm just hoping for laughs. We'll see. We'll check in again. See what see what we get. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below about how you're enjoying the show. If you're enjoying the show. If you are not watching the show. If you love the show. Whatever you want let me know. I post videos on Saturdays. Other random times are a little Saturdays so I can subscribe. Join my Patreon if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.